Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about cyclines and CDKs and their role in the progression of cell cycle. In this series of lectures, we are talking about cell cycle and cell cycle regulation. To understand cell cycle regulation, you need to know what is cell cycle, what are the phases of cell cycle, what are the cell cycle checkpoints and more importantly, the role of cyclines and CDKs in important steps of the cell cycle progression. So in this lecture, we are going to discuss about the cyclines and CDKs and their role in the cell cycle. Because these are the essential enzymes which allows the cell to move from one phase of the cycle to the next phase of the cycle by modifying specific proteins inside of the cell. And modification means what kind of modification? As it is a kinase, the modification we are talking about is addition of phosphate groups. Okay, so what are this? Imagine CDK is an actual enzyme. This is an enzyme. What kind of enzyme? It's a kinase enzyme which can phosphorylate other proteins in the cell that can lead to some impact like any cell signal transduction pathway. But the CDK's job is restricted. It is a restricted protein. Why it is a restricted protein? Because CDK cannot function on its own. CDK requires cycline in order to function. Right? Akela kaam nahi kar sakta CDK. Cycline partner chahiye isko kaam karne ke liye. Partners in crime. So cycline yaha pe a jata hai. Cycline jab bhi a jayega. Cycline CDK ek saat ek complex banayega. So they will form a complex. Cycline CDK complex. This cycline CDK complex is active and although CDK will phosphorylate but without the presence of cyclin it cannot do that okay so cyclin CDK complex becomes active it causes phosphorylation and further response to the cell that's simple it is so cyclin and CDK so now the question is there are different phases of cell cycle G1 phase, S phase, G2 phase, M phase. So for all these phases, are there only one cycline and one CDK? The answer to is no. There are multiple cyclines, multiple CDKs. And there are specific cyclin CDK combinations that actually work. Okay. So for example, you'll see there are four different kinds of cyclines we'll be talking about. And also two, three different types of CDKs we'll be talking about. So there are specific cyclin CDK complexes which are required to do a particular function inside the cell. Clear? But how exactly the cyclin CDK works? See, if CDK is present, if CDK is present in the cell, it's, it's not going to harm us. Why? Because CDK cannot do any function on its own. So CDK concentration in the cell is not constant. I mean, it remains constant. It never changes. It never varies. It remains the same. There is no point of taking CDKs out of the cell or making more CDK. So make enough number of CDK and keep it in the cell because it cannot function without cyclines. So most important point here is the cyclines. So what we need to regulate here, I'll take a different color. So I'll take uh, blue color here. So that's why we take cyclines to be regulated. So the concentration of cycline is tightly regulated in the cell. For different phases of cell cycle, you will find particular cycling concentration to rise and once that step is done, then decline of that cycling concentration. So remember this always, concentration of cyclines are variable, not fixed. But the concentration of CDK is fixed. It's not variable. It's fixed. Concentration of the CDK is fixed. Cycling concentration variable varying. So to understand this, I'll give you this particular image. You can see this. So in this particular image, what you can clearly see is that there are different phases listed here in the x-axis, G1 phase, S phase, G2 phase, M phase. And the y-axis, we have concentrations of cyclines. And you see, there are particular type of cycling, G1 cycling, G1S cycling, S cycling, M cycling. 
four kinds of cycling proteins. Now their name is given based on their function. So G1 cycling means this one acts on the G1 phase. G1S cycling acts between the G1S transition. S phase cycling works in the S phase of the cell cycle. M phase cycling works in the M phase of the cell cycle. And you can see the concentration, the G1 phase cycling concentration overall is still there from G1 phase till the end of the M phase. But the other cycling like G1S cycling only active at highest concentration in the G1S transition. S phase cyclines are slowly increasing in concentration through the S phase. It keeps on high concentration to the G2 phase and decline just before the anaphase. And the M phase cycling concentration is maximum in the anaphase. You can see in the anaphase it has the maximum concentration then again sharp decline. That gives us a story that yes particular cyclines are designated to do its fu a specific function linked to it. But if we talk about the CDK function it remains almost stagnant. So the concentration of CDK will remain near about constant throughout the phases of the cell cycle. So cycling concentration up down up down through different phases but CDK concentration remains like a flat line. CSI net have asked question from this topic with a graph earlier. So remember this for the exams. Clear. Now we'll move to understanding which cycline and which CDK partner work together in which phases of the cell cycle. So let's move on. Here what we have, we'll write down different phases of the cell cycle and also write down cycline and CDKs associated with that phase and their respective functions. So again G1 phase, S phase, G2 phase, M phase. By this point you should know this G1, S, G2, M always in your thinking. If you don't, then watch my first lecture of cell, cell cycle series. Okay. So here we are going to talk about the cyclines and CDKs. And here I have a small uh, mnemonic, a trick for you to remember that because there are different cyclines and CDK partners. Biology is interesting. Biological processes are interesting. But you need to remember many things in biological sciences as well as in the medical sciences. बहुत सारी चीज को ध्यान में रखना पड़ता है तो यहाँ पर क्या चीज ध्यान में रखना पड़ेगा साइक्लिंस और सीडीके के नाम कैसे ध्यान रखना है देखो यहाँ पे सो साइक्लिंस सीडीकेस विल सिंपली राइट इट एस दिस आई रिमेम्बर इज एस डी ई ए बी डी आर फिर उसके बाद डी ई ए बी डी ई फॉर डिक्रीजिंग सो रिमेम्बर दिस एस डी आर so decreasing order will start with 4, I mean 6 and 4, 6, 4, then 4 will be decreasing to 2 and 1, 1. So simply think about 4 and then another 4, decreasing 4, decreasing to 2, 2 decreasing to 1 and finally another 1. This is the easiest way that I find myself remembering this topic. Okay. Now you can form your own trick but this is an idea. Let's see how this idea helps us. So D means we have cycling D, cycling E, cycling A, cycling B. Although this is controversial whether cycling E has some role or any kind of role associated with uh, the S phase or not because in S phase we found out that there is no proper cycling that are involved. It can be uh, any. Uh, so there is no specific cycling in the S phase. Specifically D in the G1 phase, A cycling in the G2 phase, B cycling in the M phase. And in the CDK's part, the same way, remember 6 and 4, that's how we write, then 2, then 1, then 1. 4, 2, 1, 1, or 6, 4, 2, 1, 1. This is how it's written. So, cycling D will have CDK 6 or CDK 4 partner, and they act on G1 phase of the cell cycle. Cycling E will act with CDK 2, act on S phase of the cell cycle. Cycling A will act with CDK1 in the G2 phase of the cell cycle. Cycling B will act with CDK1 in the M phase of the cell cycle. You can clearly see the difference now. You can clearly construct a table from your brain just knowing DAB 4, 2, 1, 1. Decreasing order 4 is the highest 2, 1, 1. That's it. That's how simple it is and easy it is. Now the question is, in this case, in this table, <clears throat> there is one interesting fact. You can see the CDK 
this is a different CDK, this is a different CDK, CDK4, CDK2, but this CDK and this CDK are same, CDK1, they are CDK1, both are CDK1, as both of them are CDK1, then one important question is there, same CDK, same cycling required for the functioning of the G2 phase, for functioning in the M phase, right? How their role is specified? Due to change in their cycling partners. You can see that clearly. Although both CDK1 is working in G2 phase and M phase, but their cycling partners are different. In G2 phase, the cycling partner is cycling A. In M phase, the cycling partner is cycling B. So if we change the cycling partners, even though we have same CDKs, but that will result in different function. So the specificity in functions provided by the cyclings, not by the CDKs. Keep this in your mind, print it in your mind. Okay, that's the easy description of this. Now we'll talk about the function of different CDK complexes. So this cycling D, CDK6 or CDK4 complex in the G1 phase, what is their job? They help in the production of production of proteins or the gene products or proteins necessary for DNA replication. This is done, this is ensured by the cyclines and CDKs. The cyclin D and CDK 6 and 4 complex. The next one, cyclin E, CDK 2, for the S-phase cyclines. What is the job of S-phase cyclines? Basically to initiate, initiate DNA replication. Initiate the DNA replication. That's the job of the CDK2 and cycling partner. Which is cycling E and sometimes controversial. That's not cycling E. There's no specific cycling. Then comes G2 phase. What is the job of cycling A and CDK1 in the G2 phase? The job is to basically G2 phase means what? Replication is done, means DNA duplication is complete. Is to basically make this cell ready So G2 phase cyclines, that is cycling A and CDK1, what is the role of this combination, cycling A, CDK1? They actually prepare the cell for the final phase of mitosis because mitosis is just the next step. So it will prepare the cell for the mitosis. That means basically duplication, duplication of, duplication of what? Duplication of the microtubule organizing center. So basically centrosome. duplication of centrosomes and second fact is that condensation of chromosomes. Both of these things are performed and done by the cycling A CDK1 complex. And lastly, the M phase cycling that is cycling B and CDK1 complex, what is their job here is to basically regulate the mitotic events. Three important mitotic event that is the arrangement of the chromatids. So basically uh, the connection of microtubules to the kinetochore. The second thing is the segregation of the chromatid in spindle formation, spindle assembly and segregation of the chromatid and cytokinesis. So spindle assembly, segregation, cytokinesis. All these things are regulated and maintained by the M phase cycling that is cycling B, CDK1 partner. That's how easy it is. That's how the cyclines and CDKs work together with each other and they ultimately lead to a particular effect, a specific effect. So these are the cyclines and CDK partners involved in the cell cycle and they involved in the process of cell cycle progression. Ultimately, their goal is always to phosphorylate others. But once the CDK is active, the CDK's role is to phosphorylate other proteins, which will lead to the progression of cell cycle from G1 to S phase, S to G2 phase, G2 to M phase. That's how easy it is to understand cycling and CDKs. I believe 
you have a clear understanding of it if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future plus watch every single video of this cell cycle regulation series to get a clear idea about cell cycle and cell cycle regulation for any competitive exam in biological sciences thank you